Are you ready for this sickness? Let's get into it! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is gonna be part two of the process. Part one was selecting um, the books to send to CGC and why I picked them. And this one is gonna be about the humidity chamber, pressing, and pressing results from part one. So at the end of the video, I will put part one. There will be a playlist called the process with all four videos in this in the in it. This is number two. Now it's gonna start with me showing you all the pieces for the humidity chamber and what I do. And then it'll go to the pressing portion, show you everything there, and then we will look at the five books that I decided to send to CGC. So after press. Whoa. Whoa. After press. So I wanted to say something really quick if you're new to this. Um, you might want to try these alternate things I'm going to tell you right now before what I say in the video. So maybe write this down. I'll give you a second. If you're going to be humidifying and pressing books, write this down. Really quick, if you're going to use boiling water in a humidity chamber and you're new to it, I would say don't do it longer anywhere from two to four hours in the humidity chamber. For you new guys, um, I go... Uh, just I go a little bit longer, but when you're starting try that first two to four hours in the humidity chamber And then in regard to the press this is, does not have to do with newer books with the newer paper It's more like some older paper the books that I've picked for my pressing stuff like that um, I would say to start off to be safe. I would press at 150 degrees for 15 minutes aside and then turn the press off and leave it in there for 24 hours cold uh, but I will say some different times and stuff like that along in this video they're a little bit longer but I think if you're beginning you should maybe try what I just said so I hope you wrote it down let's get right into the video I hope you guys ap appreciate this process video we're gonna take you all the way S picks for CGC how to press and humidify I'm gonna do a video on how to submit to CGC, and then the last video will be the unboxing to see what we got. So thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Hit that sub button, hit that like button, give me a comment, and we'll see you later. Okay, as discussed, the first step is the humidity chamber. Now, a lot of people do a lot of different things. Um, I like to do the humidity chamber process before I go to bed. So when I wake up, I can pull it out. That's what she said. Uh, but the thing is, there's I th all different people use different times. I just kind of wing it. Um, depending on the book, I might be less time. I don't know. But the point is to humidify the book because it's dry. You, humidi you humidify it. It loosens it. And then you press it with heat. And then you cold press it and it just kind of solidifies it all back together. That's my idea on it. So what I've got here is a tub you can get anywhere. Okay. I have like a grill piece. I bought this extendable grill piece at like Home Depot. I think I got the tub at Home Depot. You can get white rags at Home Depot. I have four. You only need two, but I'm going to show you why I have four. You need the magazine backers boards a bowl this is how I do it a bowl distilled water and then I have this stupid little thing I put in here so what basically what I will do is I'll put this thing in here like this okay it's just something to hold some people use cups stuff like that to hold the tray and then I'm gonna take this this is going to be full of distilled water, and I'm going to put it right here, okay? So, I will get a pot of boiling, and I don't know if people do this, this is what I do, a pot of boiling distilled water. I'll put the water in a pot, I'll boil it, and when it's boiling, I'll transfer it into here, okay? Into my pot, or bowl. Then I'll set it in here. Be careful when you do that because it shit's hot. Okay, then 
you take this, which is heavy, and you put it on top. See, that's why I have that thing to have it balanced, okay? Now, you take the towel. This is just the humidity process, guys. And you put it down, clean, nice towel. You put it down, I, I'm putting two towels because I'm gonna put two books in here at one time because I have two presses. If you only have one press, only put one book at a time, okay? So you get that all ready, nice in there, towels, okay? Okay, then, now remember, the water will be boiling, okay? Have it all prepped on your, have it all prepped on the tray. Then you get the backer boards for the magazine size. I like to use the, um, not this, you know, there's got that smooth side. I like to do the, the kind of tougher side on the bottom. There, point it up. Okay. Let me pause really fast. Now I've placed both books on the backer boards magazine, right? Scoot them over a little bit. Scoot this one over a little bit. Then you get the uh, backer boards again. The gritty side I'm putting down. I don't know why, but I cover it. See, you covered it. So you have one on the bottom and one on the top. That's what she said. You cover it, right? Then you get your other two towels or one towel because if you only have one press, again, you're doing it once. And you put the towel over that, right? There's one towel over, over a little sandwich. And then you put the other one. Okay, the reason you put it on the bottom and top like that is because when I put the lid on and it's boiling water in there or whatever, it's instantly gonna humidify the chamber. And what happens is you can put a little weight on top, not too much, but once you seal it, you're gonna see the humidity already building on it. And it usually comes in the center and drips sometimes. So if it drips, the water drips, you want it to get on the towel and you have that multiple layers. So that's how you put it in the humidity chamber. I'll show you really quick with the hot water to show you how it changes. And I, again, let's say I do it at midnight. I wake up in the morning, let's say it's eight to 10 o'clock, eight to 10 hours, and then I pull it out and I go directly to press. So I'll put some boiling water in here so you can see what happens. And that is the humidity chamber. Okay, you guys I have the boiling hot water in there. And you really can't see the steam. Yeah, you can see it maybe. So let me stop on to put the this. It's already on top of the holder above everything. Okay, hang on. Okay, it's on top. I'm gonna put the lid on it. Make sure it snaps. I'll fix it in a minute. But you will start to see it steam up. Make sure that it's airtight. Nice pause. You should be able to see the steam um, in there already. It's not super clear. It looks steamy. It's going to continue to steam up and humidify inside. See how it's there's the water. There's the little holder. I've got it on top. I've got everything sandwiched, sealed. I'm going to put just a little bit of weight on the lid, not much, and I'm going to leave it overnight. Okay. Um, and when I pull the books out, they're going to be uh, damp. Not damp, but you'll be able to tell a difference on your books. The next part will be the press video, okay guys? Okay, I'm gonna show you the pieces, at least how I press, everything that's needed. You need a heat press. Now, if you guys decide to start pressing books, I would love, I would really appreciate it if you went to eBay through my link in my description. In the description below with all the different links, 
You can follow an eBay link, it'll take you to eBay. You can search all these different things like I was talking to you about and, and purchase it that way. And I'll get a per like a couple percent from the seller fee or something like that. That would be sick. But this is the, the press that I bought. Some people get a steel uh, frame on the bottom. I just kept it as is. I'm going to show you what I do. On eBay, it's the one with like the Wolverine um, picture. But you can see right here, it's going to look like that, okay? It's about 150 bucks, I think. So you need the press. You need more magazine boards, okay? You need paper. Now, the paper that I use, and it's got to be a very specific paper, okay? Because it inks. So I use this. It might not be easy to find, but HP Brightweight Inkjet. You have to get Inkjet, okay and uh that's first important part second important part is uh i think the 165 whiteness like a super bright white bright white ink jet paper okay that's all i'm gonna say there and then i use this from costco it's parchment paper kirkland parchment paper non-stick paper it's like cookie cookie paper it's also cooking paper it's also known as uh silicone release paper do not get the one that is wax paper okay and so i cut these little pieces out of that okay so i'm going to show you how the times and how to stack it really fast in the press with all these pieces on just another book okay something totally different and I'll tell you how to do the press and then at the end of this video I'm just going to show all my five books that I picked pressed with the grades okay and that will be the end of this video so let me get to the stack okay the the first part of the stack is this you got to be real careful when that thing's on okay so you get two of the magazine side boards the glossy side I put down so two of them glossy side down in the center okay make sure it's all right usually I use both hands but and I want to say something about gloves uh, you know I think that if you wash your hands and you're clean constantly I'm constantly washing my hands there's no problems here people use gloves I like to have my bare hand because it's with gloves on I have a hard time sometimes okay so the two magazine boards down, the glossy side down, okay? Okay, now the next thing would be one of these parchment papers, okay? You wanna put that in there. Now you can cut them to size if you need to, but you wanna get it in there all the way. Are you ready for this thing? Uh-oh, my video's on. Okay, sorry about that. I had another video processing. So you've got the two Magazine board down, glossy down. You put this paper here, the parchment paper. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the comic book. Now there is a sandwich that I'm gonna make for the comic book, but just remember, two down, then the parchment paper, then we're gonna put the comic book stack in there, which I'll show you how to build, and then you're gonna do the same thing again. On top of the comic stack, you're gonna put one of these, and then two more of those, okay? So let me get the stack ready. Okay, so here's how you do the comic book stack. This is how I do it, depending. One magazine board. Two pieces of super bright paper. You can use four, but we're, for this case, we're just gonna use two. So the first thing you do is you find the staples in the comic book, okay? So bear with me, because I'm using both hands. Where are the staples? <laughs> I should have just stopped. Okay, so we find the staples. We're almost there. Where are you, Mr. Staple? Okay, so there they are. Okay. This isn't exactly a good book to show, but just imagine the staples are there. There's a staple. This one's weird. So you get the magazine board, okay? The magazine board. And you put it in 
See how I'm doing it like this? But you want to put it so that it, it goes right to the staple, but not on top of the staple. Okay? So right up to it, but not on top. On both ends, and then you close it. Okay? So it should look a little bit like that. That's the one it presses. The staples don't... There's a space for the staples, so they don't damage the book. Then on the first page, you put one of your bright papers all the way in. So you go, oh, guys, I'm sorry, but whatever. I mean, this is, is what it is. You put one of them all the way in, okay? So all the way, where there's no space, okay? And then you close it all the way in all right you might have to rearrange a little bit then you go to the back look this is all my stuff i won't be pressing this book but i'm just showing you you get your other paper and you put it all the way in. now i think there's a million different ways to do this but i'm just showing you what i do okay So that is what you call the stack. Now, I'm not going to be 100% accurate on this. You can take your time on that. But the these papers should this paper should go all the way in. Okay. But be careful when you're putting it all the way in. You don't want to tear the comic. You know, it's much harder. Now, see, see how it fits in now. Boom. Okay. So the paper on each page. Okay. And then all the way in. The next thing you do is the first side you're going to press. You're going to take it. You're going to press the, the back cover up first. So you're going to put it in the press right in the center of the stack that you made. See how there's some room here? That's that other thing underneath the cookie paper. There you go. It's on there. It's all in there nice. Then you're going to get another cookie paper or parchment paper. And you're going to put it on top. You want to make sure it's all covered up. Make sure the cords are good. Okay. There you go. It's on there. Then you get your last two pieces of magazine board. And you put it on top of the parchment paper. And when you're doing this, most likely the, you can do it before or after. You put it right on top, and then you want to put it on top where your bottom stuff is, right? So that it's aligned with your bottom stack that you made. Okay, the comic is underneath all of that. So, once again, you have two boards, magazine, parchment paper. Then you have your comic book stack, which I show you how to make. With the, the first part press is the back cover up pushed in the spine in then you have the parchment paper and the two magazine boards again then you get to the pressing so i'll show you that actually i'll keep going so you you, you get it ready now when you're putting the what this is what i would do now um on older comics from like not new books, guys. It's a totally different game. I could do a different video on that, maybe. I'm not very good at that. But older books with a different paper, I usually do 150. I get it warmed up to 150 to 155 degrees, okay? And when it, it'll tell you when it's ready. Once that's done, you close the press on it, okay? You be real careful to close the press nice and solid. Um, when you're pushing down this handle, though, you don't want it to be too tight. Like that feels a little tight, okay, to push down. So what you can do is you can tighten, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, or loosen. I'm going to loosen it a little bit so that the, it goes down easier. See, that went down much easier. Uh, maybe that's too easy. <laughs> but you want to have this right mixture of tightness. Not too tight. You don't want to destroy the comic. Once that's in, you start your timer 
or whatever, you start a clock anywhere from, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes per side, okay? Once it's done for the 20 to 30 minutes, okay, you undo it, right? You move it over and you take it out carefully and you, rep you flip it top up, cover up, spine in, okay? And you change just these. Sometimes I say to change inside paper too. You can if you want, but for one book, all I do is I change the parchment paper. Everything stays the same except I replace the parchment paper because it will be indented. And then you repeat the process on the top for 20 to 30 minutes. When it's done, you turn the press off, okay? And you unplug the press and you leave it in the press for at least 24 hours. It's called a cold press, okay? That's where you get your best results. The longer you leave it in the press, the, the better. Sometimes I've left it in the press for 48 hours. But that is the process, okay? Now I'm gonna skip ahead to my pressed books results um, and we'll finish that. I also have this book at a nine two. Um, at the worst case, and I've pressed it now, that, that was a concern, that little spine break. But regardless, that looks so nice. So my, my, my goal was to give it the estimated grade before I pressed it, right? And then um, press it and hope for better. Um, I was okay with getting it, but the, I mean, this could be a 9.4. I don't know with that color break. I don't know, but it's at least a 9.2. There's no doubt. So my, my, my goal is to get higher grades on every book that I'm showing you after a press too, but I was okay with those initial grades from the first video. You guys check out the first video. I'll link it at the end of this video. Let's look at the next books. Okay. Here's some pressing results for you. Uh, I initially pegged this as a 9.2 hoping for better. I've pressed it now. Um, this is one of the submissions. It's looking pretty nice, guys. If there was any waviness, I can't remember. Um, I know that there was, now we're looking really close. I know there was some color break here, but it looks like I have helped out the staple issue a little bit. Otherwise, this book is looking pretty, pretty prime, solid. So I'm hoping to maybe get a 9.4 or 9.6. Let's check out the back. I mean, this thing looks beautiful, guys. All right, let's look at the next book. Okay, this one had like eight ticks on the front, some sort of scratch. I don't think I got the scratch out. And four ticks on the back, seven, five, I give it again, just because this type of book, I've never not got a seven, five, uh, except recently. But eight ticks, remember that? Uh, there's maybe a minor, minor one right there. Oh my, there's one. That's by the staple. I mean, this book is f just gorgeous. I'm telling you guys. The press. Look, I could see this getting a 9. But I've got it at a 7.5. I'm hoping for the highest grade possible on these... Um, Man, that's gorgeous on these price variants. I've got the Harley Quinn left. I'm going to press that one. And um, we'll see what happens. Okay, guys? Okay, guys. I'm really excited to look at this book. Um, this had like 16 ticks, a crease. I think two ticks on the back. I press this one. I just want to show you what it looks like differently now. I don't remember actually what it looked like. <laughs> but... I know there's still ticks on this, but dude, they, a lot of them are gone. I said like 16. Now I gave it like a 7.5. I mean, we'll see. I think the back though, dude, the back is fire, dude. This book is fire. So I don't want to play with it too much. That's what she said. 
But honestly, I don't know. I know they give me these books are going to be tough because they t grade tough on rare books. But man, it looks better than it looked before. I know that. That is sick. So my base grade before the press was a 7.5. If I can get 7.5 or higher, I'm good. But I pressed it just in case. Let's look at this other one. Okay, guys, I'm super excited about this book. I just put it out of the press. Don't worry about this. I have it on that. It makes it look funny. But, man, this book is fire. I might press it a little bit more one more time for that. It looks really bad right here, but, dude, it, it isn't. It's gorgeous. And there's something here. I'm, I'll try it a little bit longer on the front. Try to press that out. But this book looks really nice. The Let me show you the back. We have a little tick right here. I think I'm going to try to press it again. Just with this book, i got to press it as much as I can. This is the main concern. It's just like this little crease or something. Um, it's pressed. It's just... That's what's going to be hitting me the hardest. If I can get the others out of out of it, I think I'm or near close to that. I think I'm looking at a 9.4 for sure on this book. And that's it for the pressing, guys. Um, yeah. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to use any of these coupon codes, go ahead. It's all there for you to use and abuse. Please check out this sick video next. And again... Please hit that like button, throw a comment down, and please subscribe. Love you guys. Stay sick. See you later.